All right, what's up guys? Um, just a quick side note here. I got myself a replacement for my motor. Um, it was originally, it was supposed to be 100 cc with a separate head. I know I never recorded this, but this was the surprise. I just started playing with it because I was so excited. It's supposed to have a separate head and iron sleeve cylinder. Um, see, it does. It definitely has an iron sleeve. If, if you look, let me see if I can turn this light on here real quick. See the uh, the port, how it's all blocked? That's the sleeve that they slid in. Like down there in the transfer, that's gonna be hard for me to clean out. I don't have a long Dremel like that. Um, but either way, yeah. Um, so I started cleaning out the exhaust already. So uh, it's you know it's okay, I guess. I still I just started, so it's still got a long way to go. I still got to port it to begin with. The intake. You see, but it does have the iron sleeve. It's in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that down there. That's going to be hard to see, but maybe this way. If I look the light down there, can you see that lip? It's hard to tell the lip, but yeah, it's it's got that. So either way, I measured it because on the outside of the cylinder. Can you read that? 70 to 80. So right then and there, I was like, this is an 80 cc. And, um, you know, that at least made me think it was. So I opened it up, measured the piston and everything, 47 millimeters. So you already know it's uh, 80 cc. But whatever is what it is, um, I'm talking to the people now because I paid more than I'm willing to pay for an ADCC. So I'm talking to the people. It was off eBay. And um, I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to go from there and see what they say because uh, it's probably just going to be whatever. I, I really asked them just to give me a credit because it is a really good motor. I opened up the Magneto they use. It looks like they used, uh, um, I don't know what the, I forget the name of it, but the good Magneto. Um, it's got extra wind on it, like the the. the the copper winding is much thicker than normal. Um, so it's, they definitely use good parts in this and it does have the iron sleeve. You know, um, I took the intake. I still could take more, but I had one crack right here because I opened it up so much and like the, the whole carburetor fell down with this attached, but this, uh, the flange was still attached to the intake. Um, that was the original 100cc intake I had that came with my motor when I first bought my motor and stuff, um, you know, a few months back. So it cracked. So that's why I didn't open this up as much as I really want to. I just I just wanted to get something to replace my motor. So, um, oh, my buddy is buying that bike. He's We're going to go get the monies today. So he's definitely buying the bike. So that's big. That's huge for me. Um, then uh, I want to take some of that and buy the parts I need for the motor for my bike because I don't want to get rid of my motor or anything. Um, I was going to upgrade it, to be honest with you, with this 100 and get a new cylinder and, you know, a new bottom end, but um, it didn't work out like that. So whatever, I'm, I'm just going to upgrade it the other way, go right to the manufacturer because um, it is a legit YD. It's got the YD connecting rod and I want to just rebuild it probably uh, I might even get a balanced crank for it definitely um the piston's new and the rings are new I'm just gonna uh, window them because I, I mean I'm gonna open the windows because the windows weren't that big um at least I didn't like the way it sounded compared to when I had mine going um my original windowed and the connecting rod I, all that stuff I just want to replace all that stuff up there because I just think it's questionable after the last time I ran it with the bad mix I think it screwed it up pretty good because it, it had a slight tick or clunk and I just it wasn't right um all right well either way I'm gonna start finish porting this and uh, I'll probably tune in after I start putting it on the bike or something I don't know but um either way everything is good we're everything's getting a little better uh, I told you I was struggling a little and everything's getting a little better by little by little it's getting better so I'm really happy about that um 
You just got to keep working towards it. Either way. All right. I'll all talk right. to you later. <clears throat> this one little scratch right here, it, I just, it came out and slid. It's literally, it barely picks up on my nail. It just really took the paint off, but it's not going to hurt it. Uh, and I'll sand this down because there's a little bit of jaggedness. I'm going to sand it down with a piece of sandpaper and a block to make sure it's good or if I can find a metal file maybe. But um, either way, this is the exhaust port now. Um, obviously, I only cleaned up the bottom to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Now, I still got to go over it with a, a sand and stone and smooth it out. Um, boy, that one corner there, I noticed it's got a little, little hang up on the left top. I don't know if you guys can even pick up, but there's like a slight protrusion like in the wall on this side top corner like it just the the shape of the circle is not the way i wanted 100 percent. anyway the rest of it though looks really butter um the top i opened it up just a little bit i really widened it at the top um and i wanted the flow to be really nice you know see another little tiniest spot i'm gonna get it right now but it, it's basically done it's gonna take me like 10 seconds of so just a quick notch on two spots um, and then I'm gonna start the intake, but I just wanted to bring you in and show you. So, all right. But, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's all right. Seems to be all right. Intake. see the dirt lines and stuff I still got to clean it all up like I guess spray down with like some brake clean or something but other than that I think it's half decent Those transfers, those are the hardest part for me because the bit just ain't long enough to get down in there. So I just make it, but it's not Hey guys, good. just chiming in here. I just really quickly, because I don't have a lot to choose from, I went outside and got myself a brick and I'm using the flat side with the sandpaper clamped to it as such. Um, I'm just trying to basically flatten out the, uh, this is pretty good, but I just wanted to make sure it's completely flat surface. Now I'm going to make it a little smoother with higher grit, obviously, but, uh, like when I put it on, there's low spots and stuff. Same with this, same with this side here. So, uh, I'm just going to put it on here and, uh, you know, smooth the surface out and flatten it out. So let's hope this works, but, uh, it should, I have no fear about that. The porting though. It came out pretty good, and I could get a piece of sandpaper in the intake port because I couldn't get down in there with my Dremel. I, my sanding drum was not small enough, so we'll be all right. But the exhaust, I was able to get in there, and it looks so good. Honestly, it looks money. It was a well-ported head right from the right from the uh, factory. I was happy about that. Just uh, as far as like the exhaust size, the intake was a little little small on the width for me. And the uh, transfer ports were absolutely horrendous, but, and everything was small because of the iron sleeve. The way they put it in here, it was just huge gaps, and it's in the beginning of the video, so you've seen it, but this is so much better. This is total money, so I'm very happy right now. Just get this all sanded out, make sure the surfaces are nice and flat, and we'll go from there, guys. All right, check in a little. Yeah, you can see, I just did a couple passes right now. Um, this was all painted, obviously, from the factory, but you, you see here, it didn't even touch it. You see the dimpling, the low spots. Like, I just did, like, literally four or five just to scuff the surface and see what it looks like. So you could see how bad the surface is before I even try to mat it up with the gasket. I mean, yeah, granted, the gasket's going to crush slightly, but I want the best seal I can get. So there's no chance of leaks. And this is obviously intake side, but, I mean, um... You can just see, I mean, look, this is horrible. Look at the black here. 
the dimpling, the black is deep. Like this is gonna be, you know, a pretty, I'll probably end up scuffing all this stuff, but I, I don't care. I'd rather have a perfectly running motor than a bunch of nonsense happening. So this is good in the long run. I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna keep going and uh, check back in a little. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on how bad this actually is and what it looks like from the factory. Hey guys, I just want to show you what I, I did here. But if you look, see the see the darkness? Man, this thing was so bad. And this is after doing it for about five minutes. You know, it's obviously not power or nothing. Um, but this is starting to clear up down here now. So this is looking good. It's just got a real low spot here. I don't know if I'll be able to go that far, but I could definitely get it more. But this is what I did. I just got a, a regular old, I think it was a 2 by 8 They're doing construction next door. So I just grabbed this up and uh, I got the 50 grit on here and uh, i clamped it on and you know it's good to go i mean this is working great um but like you could like here see but i did the intake intake looks so perfect there's no the very the very edge has a low spot but i don't care about that that's not going to do no harm to me um as long as everything on the inside is good i'm still going to go over it and do a fine you know a uh a finer grit to get rid of the big ridges but you know uh, all in all it's looking really great so far very excited about this guys very 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 excited so right, guys i i did the top and see the two colors in the middle that's the iron sleeve so it definitely has an iron sleeve i mean i knew that just by the way you could see it here with the you know all the ports I had like a you know I don't know, 16th or 8th inch thick piece of metal in front of all the ports so i mean i it labeled it was a sleeve cylinder it also said it was 100 cc which it's obviously not since it's a 47 millimeter and it also says 7080 so that was a giveaway of what made me open it up to measure it not that i wouldn't have opened it to measure it anyway but i think you understand what i'm saying so either way we are grooving and we are Gucci. So very happy right now. Um, everything's coming out good. I'm just going to get the finer grit sandpaper and switch it up. All right, just wanted to give you a heads up and say what's up. What's up, bud? All right, guys, uh, final step here, just showing you. I was able to get uh, 180 grit. If you see any red, that's the grease I put in because I ran out of carb cleaner and the sleeve is obviously iron, which is steel, which rusts, and it started to get a slight brown coat on it, um, which you can see in the holes there uh, when I brushed it off and cleaned it, so it's all good. I'm not stressing that, but uh, I put some grease on it because I don't have any WD-40 or nothing like that, but uh, you know, look at the top. I flattened it. I don't have a mill, but I made it work. I had my cut piece of, uh, basically it's a two by two now, or one and a half by one and a half. Um, it was a two by eight that they cut down. I found it in the dumpster outside, and I was able to use that for my flat bar for sanding. Uh, I started with 50, then went to 80, uh, then went to 180. I just bought a variety pack, right, right here, assorted. 5080, oh, 150, not 180, my God, So I got that, and I just went through the steps, and, uh, you know, smooth the rubber on that. Boy, she looks clean, though. I'm not going to lie. She looks real clean. This here, same thing. Super clean. Real, real clean. Um, See the nicks there? I That was, you know, just when the thing chatters on me, on the, the Dremel chatters, it just got a couple deeper nicks. I couldn't grind it and smooth it out, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Um, I didn't change the intake port, really. I slightly widened it and uh, I cleaned up the actual port itself. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The exhaust, same thing. Super flat and smooth now. Looks great as far as this goes. Super flat, super smooth. Um, that looks great. The yeah, intake looks good. Looks real nice. Um, <clears throat> sorry, guys. Um, 
but I don't know if you can see it in there really. But where the sleeve is, I had to grind it down on the transfer port. So if you see I, the where the black is, it was basically level all the way out and then had the real high lip from the sleeve. See that black mark here? That's because they paint it and I guess when they hone it, <laughs> that's what was left. So it's got a low spot right there, but it's at the bottom. So, I mean, you know, I should be fine to be honest with you. But all in all, looks great. The uh, transfers, and I don't mean the transfer ports, the transfers, meaning the transfer from the aluminum to the steel, aka iron. Looks real good, I think. If I do say so myself. Same with the exhaust port. Oh, this phone. There goes the camera acting crazy. Come on, camera. Looks good. Um, <clears throat> but everything's super flat, super smooth. Came out great. Go, 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 go. I'm um, very excited about this, guys. Very upset that it is only an 80 cc, but you know, it is what it is. Life goes on. Let's see what the people say about it. But no matter what, I'm gonna roll with it because I, you know, I, I, buying it, I had a feeling it was only an 80 because they don't make any two piece 100 cc's that I have seen outside of the one. Um, Bill or Ken, uh, Kevin, uh, I gotta look on my YouTube, but the guy I watch, he's got that really cool, I believe it's a red bike, uh, he's got a YD100 that he milled the top off or cut the top off and made a two-piece jug, uh, super cool little project he did, super cool guy from, uh, you know, the YouTube, much as I could tell, to be honest, uh, seems like a real craftsman, very impressive to watch. But uh, with the actual intake, here you go. Here's the exhaust I'm going to be using. I just got something because I thought it was 100. So I know 100s are much louder. Um, so it's basically just a really cheap banana pipe expansion tank with a muffler, which is nothing more than a wide pipe with a small pipe inside of it. Um, there's no baffling, nothing like that. So whatever is what it is. Um, I just figured it might be better for the bike because it would help quiet it down some. But being that it's only an 80, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I do have the stock exhaust in there, which is black. This was supposed to be black. I ordered this also, and it came silver, as you can see in front of me. So, black, silver, black, silver, silver, black. Yep, exactly. So, anyway... It was supposed to be black. The stock exhaust is black. I tried to open up the stock exhaust gasket because it was much smaller and the Dremel got away from me right here. And I was thinking if I just use a little super glue. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's obviously trash now. It is what it is. The intake though, super smooth. I mean, uh, that the little piece of wood with the uh, sandpaper, um, I used the uh, my little clamps. Uh, it held it on there perfectly. Um, clearances are a little small, but uh, it should hold up really nice. I'll find out in a couple seconds, to be honest with you. Um, I'm thinking I might have to Dremel the holes a little to bring it down. Either way, I'm super happy with the way everything came out. Um, you know, I couldn't get down in there any farther smooth it out but I did one time go wait cut too much on one of these and I ended up coming through right there so uh, I definitely didn't want to have that same issue we'll see how it goes I'm gonna put it together in the next couple minutes here but I'm very happy with the way everything is flat super smooth I never did this to any of mine before to be honest with you um, this is the first time that I ever did uh, flattening and making it milled flat, so we'll see. All right, right. I'll be back. All right, I'm outside early. It is pretty nice out, to be honest with you. I cleaned. I basically cleaned. Oh boy, this won't focus at all. I cleaned everything up real nice. Um, 
you can't really see much there now, but I showed it last night in the video. The um, outside, these little knots over here, they're just the ones on the, the right side there, you see. But anyway, those little digs are just got away from me, you know, amateur. But, you know, for the most part, she's real, she's real smooth. I'm very, very happy with the way it came out. Um, it looks real good. Um, definitely uh, one of the best port jobs I've done yet. So uh, I got the bike out. I cleaned the rail up of where it goes, and then the rest of it is still filthy dirty. Like, you know, you see all this nastiness. I will end up probably taking it to a car wash once I get it running. See how clean the wheel looks? Like, here's the color before. It's just more dirt. I just gotta finish cleaning her up. I just wiped it down with a rag, so it cleaned up pretty nice. I want to take it to a car wash and get it done, but I'm gonna put this on here and uh, hopefully we'll be be good to go. Hopefully, we'll see. It should be, it should be just fine, I imagine. So, all right, I'll tune back in when uh, I got more. All right, show. guys, uh, the video was already pretty long. Um, I got more to the video, but I don't want to put any more on this as it's already 20 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it here. Uh, say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's not very exciting or anything, but uh, I'm excited just getting it done. And as you know, I really enjoy making these videos just to keep my mind occupied and stay busy. Um, either way, uh, the next video will come out probably in another day or two. I got a bunch of footage already as this is old footage from about a week ago as I was just backed up on making the videos and doing the work and whatnot. I'll have another one of me riding and getting the bike going and stuff. Um, I already have new problems with this motor. Um, you'll see them probably in about three videos from now. But, uh, you know, this is what it is. You ride hard and you break even harder. So, <laughs> anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you get a chance, put a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, that really helps me out. Um, and uh, drop a comment, uh, most of all. That's the thing I enjoy most. Uh, I know the likes and the subs is what helps me with the uh, YouTube algorithm, so to speak. But for me, I just enjoy the comments and, you know, communicating with you guys and talking and seeing what you're doing and what you're not doing and problems that we're all having and it's just interesting for me so all right peace